Hi all, welcome to this Canvas Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how we can take that wonderful media that we've created, our webcam recordings or our screencast uh, recordings, and actually drop them into courses so that our students can view them. So we're in our dashboard, our Canvas dashboard here. I'm gonna go ahead and go into a course. So you need to be in a course in order to share uh, media with students. So I'm going into my sandbox course here. Let's say in this kind of hypothetical that I have a teacher introduction video that I want my students to see. So in my unit here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the add button and the that's the plus button at the module bar up here. And it's gonna give me some options. In the drop down, I'm going to choose page. I don't wanna assign anything. I just wanna put this uh, video, this welcome video in there so that students can view it and I'll point it out to them, but I'm not gonna assign points or anything to it. So I am going to choose page. I'm gonna select a new page and this one I will say, you know, welcome video. All right, so I'll call it that. I'm gonna click the add item button in the bottom right and if we scroll down to the bottom of our module we'll see the welcome video there now i might want to take the waffle bar and drag it up so it's the very top because it is a welcome video go ahead and click directly on welcome video to go into edit mode so one of the things about sharing media from your canvas studio is that you can share it wherever there's a rich content editor so here i'm going to click the edit button to go into welcome video and we can see this right here is our rich content editor. Now we have a rich content editor in announcements. We have it in assignments. We have it in discussions. We have it in the syllabus page. We have it in pages like we're looking at right now. So you can put Canvas uh, Studio library or videos from your library in any of the places that have this rich content editor. So how do we do that? Well, it's this little more external tools button here. It looks like a little blue V. If you click that, it's actually a drop down menu. And if you scroll to the bottom of that, at least in my account, uh, I have Canvas Studio here at the bottom and I missed clicking on it here. So if we click Canvas Studio, we get a panel that comes up. And in this panel, uh, we could see our library here and we get our collections and our videos. So you can see the ones that are videos because they're time stamped, like graphing a point tutorial. Here's my teacher introduction that I'm gonna be using for this demo. Um, notice if you hover over a collection, it says view. So you need to go into the collection to actually select a video. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and select this teacher introduction video uh, and, and insert that. Before I do, I do want to, to show you guys that you can actually click uh, record and make a video. So if you haven't made it, you can actually click record, make it, and then select it. Um, so that's an option. The other thing too is that if other people in Canvas have shared media with you, you can find that by clicking in the um, the little hamburger menu, the, the My Library menu, and you can click right now on viewing My Library. But if I wanted to view videos that were shared with me, I've got a colleague who shared a video with me, and so we can see that right here. So you can also put in shared video somebody you're like hey uh, my team teacher really had a great video and i need to use that for this class that's a way that you could do it easily so we're going to go back to my library and we're going to go back down and select there's my video my welcome introduction you can choose to allow comments or embed comments uh, if you own the video and made the video you'll get this toggle display download option for people to download the video if they want so you can make that available but only if it's only there if you've made the video i made the video so that's why that option is there i could change my mind and select another video i'm going to go ahead and embed the video in the rich content editor by clicking that and we'll see it appear there it goes all right there's our video so um, it's got the play menu here, uh, the time or the play button, playback button, the timeline. Uh, you can adjust the audio, the volume, playback speed, toggle comments on and off. You can do closed captioning. Um, it has English closed captioning currently on it. Uh, you can change the media um, from high to standard uh, to low, and you can go full screen with it. Hi, I'm Mr. Roberts. I am really looking for... All right, so it's playing. Uh, down here below, uh, you can see the details. Um, I can edit the details because I own it uh, under comments. There's no comments per cur currently. You can subscribe to the comments. There's a toggle. Insights or analytics, how many people have viewed the video and for how long. 
uh, and then captions. Um, I can get in and set captions because I own the video and uh, currently English captions are set. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save and Publish so we can get kind of a, a better preview of what this looks like after we've got it in there. This is probably pretty close to a student preview. So they would have they would have as many options here, but um, because we own the video, we do. So that is how we drop our video or media from our Canvas Studio into assignments. And like I said, it's important to note anywhere there's a rich content editor, you can click that little blue V, scroll down, click Canvas Studio, and post video. So go wild. Thanks for your time and attention. I will see you in the next video.